Is a rescue therapy right for you? Only you and your healthcare team can decide whether a rescue therapy should be a part of your seizure treatment. And remember, this is not a one-time conversation. If a rescue therapy is not right for you today, it may be right for you later. If your seizures are not controlled, it's a good idea for you and your healthcare team to take another look at your daily treatment plan. A change in medicine or new treatments may be needed. When you're taking another look, remember to talk about rescue therapies. If you have a rescue therapy now, is it being used in the best way? Is it still the right treatment for you? If you don't have a rescue therapy, should you have one on hand? Let's take a quick look at rescue therapy options. The first FDA approved therapy was diazepam rectal gel, also called diastat. There are also FDA approved rescue therapies given as a spray in the nose. These are midazolam nasal spray or nasolam and diazepam spray or veltoco. Diazepam rectal gel and diazepam nasal spray contain the same medication but they are given in different ways. Your healthcare provider may also talk about other medicines that can be used once in a while. These have not been approved by the FDA as rescue therapy. These medicines are usually put under the tongue, on the tongue, or between the cheek and the gum to dissolve. Rescue therapies do not replace your daily medication. Do not take an extra dose of your medication and think that it will work as a rescue therapy. It won't. A rescue therapy is designed to interrupt a seizure or group of seizures and doesn't take the place of emergency care. Rescue therapies may lessen the risk or chance that you'll need to go to an emergency room, be hospitalized, get injured, or have some other serious problem from seizures. Rescue therapies are designed to be used by anyone trained to use them, not just healthcare providers, including school nurses or other kinds of nurses. That's an important difference. Your family and friends can give you a rescue therapy. Talk to your healthcare team about how rescue therapy is given and who would be able to give you a rescue therapy. One thing that people, especially people who are newly diagnosed, need to understand is that the healthcare system is not really set up in such a way where you are going to get all the answers from your doctor. And so there is a balance to be had between doing research on page nine of Google. You know, <laughs> you're, you're going to be end up with more questions than answers. There is the flip side of that, which is you need to come to your doctor with the questions you want answers to because they are not going to more often than not, unless you find a true unicorn, take the time to really dig deep to make sure that you come out of those first two or three visits really armed to deal with your situation. So if your doctor has not brought up rescue therapies, ask if you, uh, you know, have a basic understanding of rescue therapies, for example, or maybe other medications that are out there, research that's being done. It does fall on you to be prepared for what limited time you have with the professionals that might be in a position to care for you, whether that's a, a caregiver or a doctor. Things to talk about with your healthcare team. Who would you call if a seizure happens? Or if you're having changes in your seizures? Would you need help using a rescue therapy? Who could help you? Call a friend, coworker, roommate, or family member to help you. How often do your seizures happen? How long do they last? What happens during and after your seizures? Have you noticed any times or changes in your life when you are more likely to have seizures? If you have, it's really important to tell your healthcare provider. Keep a record of when your seizures occur in any way that's best for you. Write it down or use a digital diary. Share this information, especially changes in seizures, with your healthcare team. This is how your healthcare team will know if you need a different medication or treatments. Your seizure history is important in deciding if a rescue therapy is right for you. You should consider a rescue therapy if you have used a rescue therapy in the past, you have visited an emergency room or been hospitalized for seizures, if your seizures have lasted more than five minutes, or if you've had safety concerns or been injured during a seizures, and of course, if you're still having seizures frequently. Talking about your seizures, your seizure action plan, and rescue therapies is a basic part of learning how to manage your seizures. Feel comfortable starting the conversation with your healthcare team. 
If you've been recently diagnosed with epilepsy, you may have many questions. Ask them. Get the answers you need in a clear way. Make sure you understand when your seizures are most likely to happen and what to tell others about your seizures. If you've had seizures for a while, you may also have other questions, especially if your seizures have changed from when you first got diagnosed, or if you've had changes in your health or daily life. Make sure your healthcare team is aware of any changes that may impact your seizures. You need to have confidence in yourself that there's no such thing as a dumb question, that you can ask these questions. In my case, uh, I, don't, I don't believe rescue therapies were brought up. I believe it was something that, as a family, we came across and we had to pursue. Write down a list of your questions before you go to your appointment. It may be helpful to bring someone with you. It may take more than one visit to get all your questions answered. Make sure you have those follow-up visits lined up before you leave the office. Rescue therapies are an option to explore with your healthcare team. They may help you manage your seizures. Be sure to talk to your healthcare provider about what's going on with your seizures, and don't be afraid to start the conversation. Together you can learn more about your seizures, discuss changes in your health or daily life, work on creating a written, up-to-date seizure action plan, talk about if rescue therapies are right for you as a part of your seizure action plan. I've found friends, family, colleagues to be really open to learning about rescue therapies. I was a little hesitant at first because I was nervous they would be scared about helping me with that, but they were really open to learning about rescue therapies. Don't wait to talk to your family, your friends, and your healthcare team about your treatment options. Find out how a seizure action plan and rescue therapies can help you feel better prepared and more confident to live your life to its fullest.